Who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, Mona no. Lisa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Da Vinci? All right, everybody. Um, before we start, I just want to say that Twixter is one of those things where, like, one video itself is not gonna like you're not gonna grasp everything just by one video. Twixter is something that takes like practice to get like exactly what you want. So that's just like a little disclaimer at the beginning of this. Also, I'm gonna be leaving. I believe you should watch more than one video when it comes to Twixter. So I'm gonna leave Umbra and Law AMVs um, Twixter tutorials in the description so you can like see their takes on it and stuff and also because i learned how to do twixter from their videos so you know it's just like that so um getting into it in step one you have to uh, import your audio and mark the beats so in order to mark the beats you would click this little arrow right here keep clicking it until you get down to waveform open it up and then right here you know you can see the beats you can use this right here to zoom in if you need to and you can just get right there and press the star key over where the number pad is on your keyboard if you have one. Now if you have a 60%, you got to like map that to something else or I don't know how it works on a 60% or anything that's not a full keyboard, so it's all up to you. All right, so press the star and it'll make a little marker like this and you're gonna do this to every beat, okay? So um, I've already done that over here in step two. So right here is the audio thing, and if like it'll be the same if I open it all the way up, it'll be like that, but I have it closed just for simplicity. So now what you need to do is um, import your clips. Put your clips in, cut them up however you need them. Um, everything is not able to be twixter. Like there has to be like a smooth amount of movement already. And like I'm just gonna play this for example. You, know, you see what I mean by like there's smooth movement already like like in a fight scene it's kind of difficult you gotta like pick what you want to twixter and what you can't depending on your level of skill and my level of skill with twixter is well you saw the thing at the video at the beginning that's that's where we at so um now that you got your clips what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of it and press Control alt t that'll open your time remaps um setting and you want to go every frame so like go one frame forward no movement one frame forward we got some movement so you're gonna want to keyframe every movement that you do movement keyframe it it's that simple and you're gonna do that to all of them right and once you do it all the way what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in here you're gonna drag these in close together so that they're one by one just like this now I've already done it to all of these you're just gonna do that um, I've already done this like to save time and it'll be monotonous to do it all over again. So we want to have like complete movement all the way through like this. So everything is like going to be faster compared to this. Yeah, so back over here now we're gonna actually start adding in our twixter now that we got that so what you want to do is once you have this your time remap you want to pre-compose right so right here i'm blind okay pre-compose make sure to click this and nothing else needs to be checked all the only thing that needs to be like checked is this right here click okay and now that we got that we can add our twixter now i'm gonna add in a default twixter and I'm gonna change the fix accordingly because like I have two presets. So I'm uh, gonna add in Twixter Pro. All right, and what you wanna do is depending on what your um, resolution is, a lot of people, not resolution, depending on what your frame is, a lot of people say a ton of different things. I've watched enough tutorials to know over my lifetime. So um, I like Law's method where he does like, um it's like 29.97 like this but it's close enough to 30 so he just rounds it up to 30 or even 23 he'll round it up to 30 so i just do that and i've been getting pretty good results with it um so you change that to 30 and down here you're gonna animate your speed and press u so you can see like all the keyframes keep the first keyframe on 100 
go forward exactly one frame and you're going to change it to 30 or whatever your input frame is so um if you're using 60 fps um clip then you got to use 60 speed or you could change it just find something that's comfortable for you for this video for what we're the little twister we're doing this setup works fine and also change warping to forward it kind of helps with like warping issues and so on so now that you got that you're going to pre-compose this one more time and you're going to do some more time remapping so you're going to control alt t again and then you're going to come to where your beat is where you might mark your beat and you're going to simply pull forward until your clip looks like it's getting crunkled up into a piece of paper like this all right and make sure that there's none of this right here happening so i'm gonna pull it back like one second or one millisecond pull back oh i'm an idiot all right there we go all right and now you can go forward a frame alt left bracket or right bracket sorry and it'll do that and now that you got that the twixter is going to be kind of off a little bit just a little bit um so like i read you always want to time remap it by selecting both of the keyframes press f9 go to your graph and right now i have it on the speed graph if your graph looks different just go up here auto select graph and you're good zoom and now you want to do something like this kind of like that with the twixter it's like room slow room, like that you know um you can mess with this any kind of way depending on what you're doing how long your clip is stuff like that it's all up to you that's why i say twixter is not something that one video is gonna like sell you on you need to watch multiple videos to like completely grasp everything that twister has to offer and also play with it yourself don't be lazy actually get in there and practice with it so that's what we got right now and um i'm gonna go through and do all of these like so oh i've done all of them wow the magic the magic all right so now um this is with everything twixtered and on beat yeah so that's what we got after we did this to every clip so now that we're here the twixter part is pretty much done except i want to give you um on this right here I had a whole bunch of warping around here and you can like help with that by going I just went into the composition um, put this on source and then you want to come down here to where it says track points Umbra does a very good a very good job on how to use this so I really recommend looking at his tutorial down in the description but um, simply what track points are is like it helps with warping so if it's a point on here that's kind of warping bad like right i have what 11 track points right here and it's still kind of warping and i don't know why but i'm going to show you how to do a track point right now so um he also has some warping like around his finger whenever i played it so what you would do is that you would make um click the stopwatch right here and well let me let me go back okay go to the beginning of the clip remember that it's important that you put it on source and when it comes to display all right up here you would click um this is 11 i mean this is 12 this is the last one i can use so uh it's still gonna be warpy but rs and will help it so um go forward a frame and then you want to make it main bg layer and also animate the positioning and you can use this little thing right here it makes a little like crosshair and I'm just gonna do like down here kind of help with the warping down here a little bit and um make sure that you put it like near the edge because that's where like the warping is mainly gonna happen so as I move forward you want to like track this all the way until the clip stops until you see just like all the um white and gray squares so I'm gonna 
move this down using the numbers for the frame move it down wrong one all right move it down and I'm just gonna keep moving that one down all right, now that you got that and that's the last track point I could really add so RSMB is gonna have to come in clutch for this one um, go back up and go to source and put it back on twixtered output and now um, I'm gonna go back over here you're not gonna have this but I'm gonna go back over here and see what that did so uh, give me a second here yeah, it's still some work on out there, and a little bit right there, but I'm all out of track points, so it's not like RSMB is gonna have to come in. All right, so uh, if you just wanted the Twixter portion of this video, the Twixter's done. I'm gonna show you some extra stuff to like really make it like the ad pop out. So um, right here, what I'm gonna do um, when that guy jumps, I'm gonna add some edge detect. Um, ghosting to it so I'm gonna control D to duplicate right and just go to I'm just gonna type in edge and find this edge detect right there and put it on the duplicate layer like that all right and I want to edit this to be you can see what I want to do bright no not that bright um, threshold needs to be tweaked with definitely yeah about like right there um blue needs to come out more just because of the scene I think maybe a little bit of red a little bit of red no not that much not that much about right there all right and now I'm gonna scale this by pressing s keyframe O to go to the end of the clip I'm gonna scale that in a little bit. All right, F9, graph editor. Put it back on this graph, and I'm just gonna drag like the, like no 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 no, like this, because it's at the beginning. Yeah. All right, so now it's gonna be like, like that. So now. Um, press the T key and that's gonna open your opacity and you want to also um, do the little stopwatch on that press O it'll take you to the end of the clip zero put it all the way on zero F9 and do the same graph pretty much you did the first time except you're gonna have to go down just because the way the graph is like so so now you should have like a little ghost effect that pops up like that now also come over here and right here where it says normal you want to put it on add if you don't see that you press f4 like if i press f4 right now it disappears f4 comes back so press f4 and um the mode you want to put add like that and now you got this like that uh and i'm gonna do that a couple more times so i'm just gonna speed it up Um, now, as like a little last thing, I want to add um, some twitch to this. So I'm going to pre compose this back to one layer. Um, so I'm going to pre compose that. And this time I'm going to adjust duration. Boom. All right, pre compose this. Adjust um, duration check. All right, and I'm going to add twitch to all of these. So I'm going to go up here, type in twitch. And um, I'm going to use my user preset. You can copy it if you wish. This is this is my user preset. And uh, I have light and slide enabled. And all of this. I don't think I changed any of this though. So I'm just going to add that preset to each and every one of these clips. All right, here we go. Remember fucking me like any time you want. Fucking playing up the past with the time.
All right, and um, you know, color correction and stuff we can do, but uh, I'm gonna leave it off here for the tutorial. So I uh, hope this helped. Like I said, I recommend watching multiple tutorials to um work on this. Um, this is it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was clear because I suck at explaining stuff. I this is like my third time recording this, so like I hope that you were able to get anything out of this. So I'll see you. Bye.